Hi there, everybody. It is I, Random Robin, and we are back with seven deadly dates. So, if we go here, we've gotten five of the endings so far. So, not too bad. Uh, only two more left to go. Also, if you don't know what this game is and haven't been watching with the series, basically this is Demon Speed Dating, and based on that name, each one represents one of the seven deadly sins. Simple enough. Uh, we also met Best Girl Zathana last time, which is this one. Look at that. Face of beauty right there. <laughs> anyway... So we're going to end up having a skipper this time, though, which is unfortunate. So hang on one second. Let me just... There we go. Had to readjust myself. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone's doing good today, staying healthy and safe, and let us get on with the show here. So we are going to be skipping five of them now. Oh, boy. Okay, yes, yeah, skip the tutorial. Ailish. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Yay! Peace out, Bill. I love bugs. Yeah. <laughs> nope, Monica. See you next time. Time is money. It sure is. Hmm. Nope. Lucy, be gone. Huh? Nope. Hmm. Zathana, oh, you're my friend, but peace out. Ash, hello. Kind of digging it. The thing is, her animation is almost too good for like how they do this because look, at her tail and fireball just don't look like they're cooperating. <laughs> but, whoo! Hello. Her name is Ash. Okay, so she represents sloth, obviously. She's a bit tired, so let's try and get this over with. Well. I wonder if I'm just, like, kind of want to get out of here, too. Well, it's nice to meet you. Okay. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. I'm really tired. I was thinking about skipping already, but... You see, my friends dragged me here. They said something like, You need a break. You work too hard. Reap? Oh, so she's the Grim Reaper here. <laughs> you reap too many souls already. Take a break. You're a Reaper? I work 9 to 5 most days, but recently I've been putting in overtime. Recently being the last 100 years or so. Oh, that's a long time. And I thought the eight and a half to nine that I worked was crazy. Because there's more humans around these days. I don't really take a lot of breaks. Work is my life, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's always a stupid thing to say to people. Because it's like, bro, it's not a competition. <laughs> it is. I'm kind of tired and worn out, as you can tell. Whenever I get time off, I sleep. This is the first day I've had time off in so long, and I kind of regret it, honestly. It's so noisy here, and I'm just so tired. There's absolutely nothing for me in a place like this. I'm not just going to stare at her. Don't you already know what a reaper is? We take human souls when they're ready to go. It's not like I do it for fun. It's just my job. Don't worry about it too much. Can you tell me when I'm ready to go? Really soon if you keep asking questions like that. <laughs> you seem very nosy. You doing alright? She's just hella tired. Uh, I 
<laughs> Shouldn't you be in the human realm? Yeah, speaking of which, how do I get back there? Nah, uh, I accidentally... Yeah. They still keep that hotline alive? <laughs> Jeez. They must be de desperate for tourists. Be careful, okay? There's some scary demons down here. I'm not one of them, I don't think. Well, maybe to you. I'm a reaper, after all. You don't seem scared of me, though. Which is nice. You're lucky you're not dead, though. The dead people in hell have it bad. You know, fiery brimstone and magma pits and everything? <laughs> not a very fun place. Hmm. I don't usually come here. The screaming is very loud. Makes it hard to sleep. Mmm, sleep. <laughs> and I'm exhausted. She's basically just... She's just been passing out this whole time. <laughs> God, I wish. I wish I could just pass out right now. <laughs> That'd be great. Did I fall asleep just now? What should I do? Oh, no, she... Oh. I could fall asleep with her. Well, that's rude. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to fall asleep. Sorry, where were we? I forgot. <laughs> well, if there are any questions you want to ask me, I guess now's a good time. Have you enjoyed the date so far? I've made the best of an undesirable situation. I was never big on the speed dating idea, but I must say, you made it at least not a complete waste of potential sleeping time. Oh, that came off a bit rude. Sorry. I just meant that this has the potential to go very badly, but it hasn't. Thanks for talking to me. It's been fun. I've taken my mind off other things. I've actually really enjoyed this conversation. I mean, as much as you've been falling asleep of it, though. <laughs> it's not every day I feel so warm to a human. I know I said I wouldn't, but just for today, maybe we could rest together? Wow, wait, really? It's This is my only option? Come on. <laughs> I think I should go. Still have energy, huh? I don't know how you humans do it. I understand. Napping is my thing, but it's not really for everyone. I think I'm going to head home now. You have fun, okay? I hope you meet some other interesting people. Have a nice night. The bar is mostly empty. You were considering going home now, but you heard a small voice from behind you. Oh. Wait, what? Is there no way to get her? Yeah, we're not going for you yet. Hang on. Peace. Yeah, I need to get... Okay, no, we're getting her... We're getting uh, Ash's ending. Yes. Sorry, Eilish. <laughs> Belle. Bugs. Monica. Time is money. Lucy. Huh? So I now know the other one. The final one's called Zephyr, but I was trying to avoid that. There she is. Okay, so I know she likes this answer. So what about? Oh. Hmm. Nope. Nope, no, nope. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, hang on. We'll get, we'll get back to her. Give me a second. Alright, we're back with Ash. <laughs> okay, so this one is a guaranteed out. Alright, let's try and compliment her. Your eyes are so beautiful on this night, they glisten like diamonds. Thanks, I guess. Sorry, not sure what else to say. Shouldn't have come here. Okay. Alright, so we're going to see a lot of the same dialogue. So I can go home and sleep earlier. The work is never ending these days, though. Oh, so that actually takes her out. What's with the tail and ears? Oh. I guess since you're human, you wouldn't have seen anything like it before. I'm a fox reaper. Long ago, she was a fox. And like most foxes, I was comfortable around humans. I spent a lot of time with them. 
When it finally died, I became a reaper. Animals that get close with humans get the right to pass judgment on their souls, it turns out. And while I may look human, I have kept some features of my original self. Although I can turn back into a fox if I want to. But I rarely do because I like having opposable thumbs. <laughs> that does seem like a boon to most creatures. Okay, so I did this one last time and that was a neutral. Where's the most interesting place you've been? Oh. I've been practically everywhere. That sounded like she might have been perked up on that one. But if I had to pick a favorite place, it would probably be in a comfy cabin in a cold mountain. Usually when I have a job in a cold place, I have to collect the souls of people who died of frostbite or something just as bad. But there was this one cabin I visited once where I had a job to reap a soul. It was an old lady who passed peacefully in her sleep. It was a nice change of pace. So why are you here anyway? Shouldn't you be in the human realm? So I told her that outright what happened to me there. Mm, hang on here. We're going to save here. Because if I screw this up, I'm going to have to come back. So, uh, yeah, speaking of which, how would I get back there? <laughs> I wouldn't know the answer to that. I only know how to send people to hell, not the other way around. I mean, I know how to jump myself between the two realms, but I have no idea how to take passengers, yeah? I'm sorry. But if you use the spell or something to get here by any chance, usually saying the spell backwards does the trick. You're lucky you're not dead, though. The dead people in hell have it bad. Okay. Okay, she fell asleep. This is the neutral ending. I could fall asleep with her. <laughs> ah, we'll let her sleep. Yeah. Oh, somebody broke their glass. And I was about to have a nice dream, too. Sorry, where were we? So I've done this one so far. I didn't ask her when I was going to die before, did I? No. Um, do you know when I'm going to die? Of course I do. Now whether I'm going to tell you, that's a different matter. I'm not permitted to disclose time or method of death to anyone until a few moments before it happens. You should be glad to know that you are not scheduled to die in the next few year minutes. <laughs> well, I think I'm, time is pretty much up. I had fun talking with you, but... I'm really, really tired right now. I'm going to go home and get a few minutes of rest before I have to go back to work. Good luck finding a date, yeah? No, she left again. Okay, hang on. Okay, so answer this. Okay, hang on. So we're going to let her sleep. Yeah, let her sleep is the better answer. Okay. Um, do you like me? Mm, I don't know. That depends on a lot of things that I don't know about you yet. Such as, do you enjoy long naps? Yeah. Do you prefer staying home or going to parties? Uh, honestly, home. Oh, that was doubly good. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Oh, hell yes. I never eat pizza without pineapple. It's so fucking good. Oh, fuck. No. Eh. Oh, man. Um, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> By the way, I love how quick and easy, and easy it is to go right back to a safe space. <laughs> well, I don't need pizza since I'm a fox, so I don't actually have an opinion. I love seeing humans get riled up over such trivial thing. You'd be surprised to learn that choice doesn't change whether you go to heaven or hell. Alright, then I guess I can answer your question. I do like you. I think time is pretty much up. I'm going to go home and get a few minutes of rest before I have to go back to work. Did, uh, is there just no getting getting her? There's got to be an ending for Ash. Hang on. Hmm. There's got to be an ending for her. Okay, hang on. We're gonna backtrack here. Yeah, I sent her in there. But you're really like, you're not really like those sinners. You're not, well, screaming her in a bit of 
pit of fire or dead or begging for mercy. So you being here is a mistake, right? Okay, so... There's got to be an ending for her. What if I fall asleep with her? Oh, there we go. Secret ending. Ash and you both sleep for so long that when you wake up, partially everyone is gone. However, the bartender and Ailish are both still here. In a is Ailish the bartender's wife? They start throwing pillows on you. A full-on pillow fight breaks out in the bar, and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Even Ash. You quit Latin and become a professional pillow fighter. There we go. We got an ending for Ash. <laughs> that was effort. <laughs> so that's all it was. You just had to fall asleep with her to get some kind of ending with her. I'm assuming there's like a proper good ending with her, but I don't know how. That was actually a toughie. <laughs> anyway. So there we go. We got the Sleepy Reaper, who I'm guessing represents Sloth. Which means the final one left is Zephyr, which we got a glimpse of. And she's obviously Envy. It makes sense why her color scheme is green as well. Anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button. If uh, you have a favorite so far, let me know. So far, Zathana is the winner for me. I, what can I say? <laughs> uh... If you have a favorite so far, let me know. Or let me know after we meet Zephyr for real and see how she's like. Um, but if you like this show, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for games, want to say hello. Or tell me who your favorite uh, of the seven deadly sins are so far. Leave it in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed or you would like to, that'd be super cool. And until next time, have a good one.